Welcome back to Westland. I am up at Dinov, and today I brought three weapons from the Halloween. Look at that! I'm having the punker message, curiosity, and the impeller. So today I'm gonna make a like a review of this weapon. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I've been using it only a few times, not to say many times, so uh, my review might not be uh, like accurate, so <laughs> it's just like an opinion, I, s I suppose. So let's get to that. Alright, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, this, the Impala. Let's uh, take a few shots of this. So this weapon is uh, super quiet. Oh, all right. So and it actually, in my opinion, it actually acts like a sniper gun and uh, some some kind of ambush uh, weapon. So a combination of the uh, sniper and ambush because it can actually shoot quite from quite far away which is 7 the range attack range from 7 that is the furthest or uh, i think that is the furthest uh, weapon that i know in this game so let's get uh let's find a marauder and shoot that oh so many there. Let's try the Marauder first. So, uh, I can shoot. Look at that. That is quite a distance. Whoa, someone is here. So, I'm gonna shoot it uh, with. Alright. Uh, my Impala is only level 3 here, which I get it from the Halloween event so just gonna use it up let's see I can actually shoot this marauder in one shot because it's actually giving us extra damage extra uh, 200 damage over three seconds so which is great I can actually get it of a uh, marauder and if you can if your impeller is up to level 5 i'm sure you can get rid of uh the gangster and tar in one shot as well because of the extra damage all right let's try the top oh. oops all right so in level 3 eyes i'm still unable to uh to kill tar in one shot and in two shots so if you're having a level 4 or level 5, I'm sure Tart will be dead. So I think I can get rid of Sniper in one shot as well. Yeah. Oh no. I piss off the bandit. Alright, I'm gonna switch to the Curiosity now because I am running low in my health. Alright, so that's uh, that's the Impala, which is I think it's very good for for one to one or or a sniper shot from far, which you don't have to go near. Alright, now now let's try the Curiosity. So I think. Among this three, this curiosity is it's gonna be my favorite. I'm gonna tell you why. 
so as you, as you can see it's pretty fast let's look at the attribute again so the attack speed is 118 that is actually the fastest shotgun in this game so all the other shotgun like trench gun, buffalo, uh, fast load, uh, folding shotgun, they are all having 80 speed, attack speed. But this bad boy, it's 180. Nice. So I, this is my level 4 curiosity. So if you up to level 5, you will have probably 700. Yeah, which is a very good damage even in the uh, chromite mines. So in here, it might be a little bit over, I mean overkill, but in the chromite mine, it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, this is my, <laughs> by far my favorite. Halloween weapon, the Curiosity, and it can actually act as an axe as well. You can actually cut cut trees, uh, cut down some trees using this weapon. <laughs> yeah, like a multi-purpose tools. But I never tried that. I've seen that in the internet, in uh, Facebook. So look at that speed. It's fast. I mean, they can't even touch you. And my speed is not even uh, super fast because I am kind of like a spirit uh, strategy user. So it's not that fast. If you're having all attack speed, it's gonna be crazy fast and they can't even touch you. at that I like the sound of it it's uh, really like a very fast kind of feeling All right I'm just gonna do a little bit of farming here I am here for the oops they're here for the iron ore You know, oh, everybody is here. All right, show time. It's high at the corner. Wait for everybody to come. High at the corner. Look at that speed. This is beautiful. This is definitely beautiful guns. That speed is amazing. Alright, let's uh, switch to the punker. So, uh, well, it's kind of a, a bummer because my punker is only level 1. And, and I've seen uh, some player they're, they're having this punker up to level 5. And, and guess what? The attack speed is 920. 920 as fast, uh, I mean, as strong as the revolving carbine. It's 900, which is a very good gun that you can actually use in in the chromite mine. I think. Alright, I'm just gonna fill up this with uh, all the iron. Set it auto. So this punker it's uh, slightly slower than the normal shotgun, uh, which is six. How much is it? Sixty-five. So yeah, but can't really like tell a lot of difference between sixty-five and eighty. But if it's compared to the curiosity, oops, sorry. All right, let's compare the speed here. So this is the speed of the punker, and let's switch to the curiosity. 
There you go. Now you actually see that. Oh, Spyro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you are just here in the wrong place at the wrong time when I'm testing my guns. Let's see what you have. Alright. Uh, seriously, not, not very interesting loot. Uh, maybe I'm gonna take this for now. Alright, let's speed it up. Back, back to the punker. Alright, so, yeah, like I see, this bad boy is level 5. I'm still... It feels like a... Uh, let me put this on first. I'm not sure whether I shot all of them. I think it might not be a, a gun that can shoot. I mean, a few target in the same time. So I... <laughs> actually not sure because as you can see we can't you can't see any uh, of the range coming out but here this one you can see the range the curiosity so I guess it's exactly like the revolving carbine which you can only shoot uh, you can shoot only one bandit at a time Right, so that is good to know. <laughs> so, and if that's the case, this gun it's not gonna be my favorite. Yeah, because of the range. Mm. The range is not great. I thought it's a. Uh, like a shotgun I can that I can we can actually use to shoot a multiple target. But it seems like not so I guess it's a one on one target. Alright, let's get into here. Let me get, uh, let me get to the menu, and we'll see uh, what does it cause us to craft those weapon. Yeah, there. Yeah. So in Pala, you're gonna need four ash plank and three of the steel ribbon, uh, steel part four and close All right so it actually quite takes uh, quite a number of parts i would say it's still part this weapon might not uh, be the favorite because it actually uses quite a number of parts but i'm sure when you repair that it's gonna be cost less two parts maybe I haven't repaired that. <laughs> but look at this curiosity. So uh, for ash plank, uh, la sorry, large board, and uh, steel plates, two rivets, and only two parts. So if you are using this and you repair this curiosity, it's going to cost you very much less resource like only one part given that it is a blue color a, a rare blueprint so it takes only one part of the steel so I guess this is uh, really cheap I would say yeah this is definitely one of my to go guns in the future and the punker takes about three parts to craft so yeah 
let's compare that two three parts uh, two rivet three plates and four uh, the large board let's compare the revolving carbine here so revolving carbine you need six parts five rivet five plates and five uh, ash board so uh, in the sense of the resource I'm sure the punker win if you get it to level 5 it's definitely something uh, one of the choice they can use to save up your resources and it actually gives you critical strike as well well in level 5 I guess it's gonna be uh, maybe 15 to, to 20 percent critical so it's uh, really can consider this gun to re uh, re replace the revolving carbine oh well I do not have a choice my revolving carbine is level 5 it's 923 damage and here it's only level 1 so I'm still gonna use my revolving carbine I'm still gonna uh, repair that so like I said this is definitely a, a an option for you guys to save up your resources so I would definitely recommend uh, the curiosity yeah to use you can even use it in the south the red zone the chromite mines it's really good to save up your resource like that and then you can actually uh, think of something else like craft the upgrading your walls with your resource and things like that all right let's get to the let's try again if I can actually shoot a few no see it's a one shot gun I can't shoot multiple target Luckily, I tried it. All right, let's take this. So I actually thought it's a, a wide range gun. So it turns out not. So still, the curiosity is gonna be my favorite. That speed. I can't even see the second shot. I don't need that. So, uh, like I tell you guys earlier, I craft uh, more of the steel bar. I don't craft iron bars that much anymore. Yeah, so that's the reason why I brought. The, the steel gun here to the north instead of the the iron guns so uh, in my base I have more steel resource so yeah that's my strategy I use more steel craft more steel and then use the stronger guns here and to save up something else like the healing supply and also armor so yeah that's uh, my strategy so I guess let's see if we have some yeah we still have some iron here let's finish this up Running fast. Look at that. Man. This gun is really fast. So I think 
uh, in the future video, I will do some of the review of other uh, weapons. Yeah, some I will do it like selectively. Uh, maybe some some of the melee weapon as well. So, yep, I'm gonna do some uh, research in that and just gonna do a video about that and tell you guys my opinion should talk just a little bit more all right guys I'm gonna continue farming and until the next time bye thank you so much for watching